Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry and Mowers and Blowers. I'm uh, getting ready. I just had dinner, and then the doorbell rang, and then Andy the Brit told me that there's a lawnmower a couple of blocks away from my house. So, you know, he says you better hurry up, or you're not gonna go and get it. I says, well, it's a good thing I just finished dinner because uh, I don't really have anything to do right now other than edit film and think about which mower I should go and fix tomorrow, what episode. Oh, and by the way, I just realized I scheduled two videos in the same day. So can you believe that, man? I had a Monday and Tuesday video that was all ready to go. And then uh, I mistakenly just... Uh, Release both videos on a Monday, so you got two videos on a Monday, which means now I gotta shuffle all my, I gotta move my, my, I gotta move my Wednesday down to Tuesday, my Thursday to the Wednesday, and my Friday to the. You go, you guys know what I mean. So then, uh, you know, I, I have like six videos already scheduled to go. You know what I mean? So we're like a week away from my most recent video, like the video I did today. It'll be showed next Monday. Crazy, right? But uh, that's how it is, you know? So much stuff is going on, man. I've been so busy. Even when I said I was gonna take time off, man, it just keeps coming. People keep giving me shit. I mean, it's unbelievable, you know what I mean? And also, I'm doing a couple videos for Hank the Asian Redneck, too, because I, I do have, uh, you know, <laughs> self-defense stuff, you know, gun stuff, ammo stuff, uh, taser stuff. Oh, shoot. I see people hanging around the area where Andy says that there's a mower. And they're like, it looks like they might be putting it in their car. Maybe. I'm not sure. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, there we go. Look. Oh, it's another craftsman. Craftsman. Uh, cool. Nerf guns. I like Nerf guns. All right, no, no, no. I don't want to. I don't want to get uh, distracted. Cool. This looks just like the one I was working on the other day. You know what I mean? I'm gonna put this away. Oh, son of a gun! I forgot. I've got a lot of other mowers in here. Well, what am I gonna do? You know? Uh, hey, this could be an, an entire video all by itself. I got this big one over here. I got this one over here. I gotta move this stuff around so I can even fit another mower. More people are going more crazy. People are just giving mowers away. Unbelievable. I'll tell you, though, this is a big one. This is the big long one. one of those spray bottles. Should I take the spray bottle? Nah, what do I need the spray bottle for? What about these Nerf guns? Should I take the Nerf guns? Nah, I don't want the Nerf guns. Forget about it. That's good enough. One mower is good enough. Good tip from Andy the Brit. So I just whipped it out here thanks to Andy the Brit. He's over here asking me, did you get it? I said, sure. It's got the big wheel. It's got a bagger. It's kind of messed up on the bagger, but you know what? Beggars can't be choosers, you know what I mean? It is the long 22 inch kind, you know? Front self-propelled. It is the auto choke. It's in good shape, for sure. No rust anywhere. Good tread on the tires. Let's check the Earl. Eh. Earl. No good. Gassage. Let's see if there's any gassage. Hmm. There's a there's a glistening look to it. You know the glisten. You know guys. You guys know the glisten. So you know what? Let's just uh, for shits and giggles. Let's just pull it. That's what she said. Uh huh. Feels funny. Yep. It feels very funny. 
You know why it feels funny? It feels funny because it feels like it has a sheared key in the crankshaft, which means the blade is messed up. All right, well, the blade looks good, but it feels funny. I betcha, I betcha there's a sheared key on the crankshaft, which is not the easiest thing to fix, but it's not really that hard either. That's what it feels like to me. You never know. Let me try that feel again. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I'm not, maybe I'm not correct to, to pull freely. Oh, right there. Okay, now it's kind of opening. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that puff of stuff come out of the muffler? Look at that. Some more smoke's coming out. So wait a minute, I might be wrong about the shirt key. <laughs> Will this thing start? <laughs> So you know what that was? It felt like a sheared key because it was hard to pull and it almost felt like it wanted to pull it out of my hand. But actually, if you see what's going on over here, right? What happened was somebody has probably tilted this thing to a direction where the oil dripped into the muffler. The oil and or gas got caught in between the piston, which didn't allow you to pull it easily which mimicked the feeling of a sheared key. But in reality, we just had to exhume the oil out of the muffler, which was the reason why you saw all those puffs of smoke. And as you can obviously see, oil is coming out of the muffler. So we just cleared it up. I think that was the only, the only issue was that it was hydrolocked from oil. As you can see from the side residue there, a lot of oil came out of the muffler. So it should be clear now. And there you go. I'll list it for 175. Actually, now that it starts, let's see if the self propulsion works. This does have to be oiled a little because it's sticky. It didn't want to stop. So needs a little bit of oil on the self propulsion. Run this out so it burns out all the oil from the muffler. Shine this up a bit and it's good to go. So it's the next day and I decided I'm going to finish this off because this is such an easy pick. The reason why they threw this out was because the engine was hydrolocked with oil. They might have tilted it to the side for a while, um, had it tilted to the side and then spun the blades a little bit, which allowed oil to get into the piston area in the crankcase. And so it was kind of hydrolocked so that when you tried to pull it, you couldn't pull it easily until you used a lot of pressure to get a little bit of that oil out into the muffler. And then once we cleared that up, I ran it for a bit, smoked like crazy because it's trying to burn off all the oil that's in the muffler. So looks like this is a perfectly good running uh, lawnmower, kind of like this one, which I listed this for like 185 because it's uh, front self-propelled, good wheels. This is actually a high wheel in the back where that's a small wheel. The uh, bagger over here has kind of a rip on the edge. I'm gonna try to use some zip ties and fix that. The oil is black death, so I have to change the oil. And also when you have the front self-propulsion engaged, right? and you let go, it kind of sticks. So it continues to move even though you release the uh, engagement handle. So I think because it has a kink over here in the uh, line, or maybe the spring that pulls it back is not very strong. So um, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to fix that bag, give it an oil change, and investigate why the spring is not pulling it back. So as you can see, this bag is 
pretty ripped over here, you know, and then when it's not packed with grass and it's blowing, a lot of the grass will just shoot out. So I'm gonna try to put a couple of holes right here, slits, with my knife over here. Just a small little hole. Don't poke your hand, honey. Actually, I could poke my hand. Just a couple of small slits. I'm not gonna go crazy. Just gonna try to fix this a little bit so it's functional. A couple of zip ties. And I'm actually gonna zip tie it around the um, around the frame of the bagger. I could have sworn I cut a slit in here. Oh, there we go. Or should I do it this way? Yeah, maybe I should. Anyway, we'll see how this goes. See what I'm saying? I won't tighten that yet. There we go. There you go. It's fixed. Cut these two ends off. Fast repair. Okay, so when you uh, pull it, this engages that way and it doesn't really pull back. So if I added a spring on this side and pull it over here, as a matter of fact, there's a hole here for exactly that, it doesn't have one. I'll show you. You pull it, it doesn't want to go back completely, see? It's supposed to pull back like that, see? So if I add a spring from here to here, this will pull it back. Or I could grease this area so that it, it would be easier to pull back because there's a lot of stuff here, you know? could also be this spring over here. See, that's all rusted and stuff and filled with gunk. Maybe if I oil this a little, it'll get its spring back. If that doesn't work, I will try to add a spring between here and here. So it didn't spring back. I found another spring over there. Check it out. Pull it, engages, and it pulls back. perfectly that's fantastic because the wheels wouldn't stop moving before now with that spring here it pulls it back so that it disengages when you need it to awesome two seconds that's all it takes little ingenuity now we're going to do a real quick oil change here i know i've done so many oil changes this past week crazy but these are good mowers and they're gonna fetch a good amount of money so the least I can do is do an oil change black death Okay, we got the bad oil out of there. And as you see, I uh, wiped it down a little bit with some excess oil. Looks great. I'm gonna put some uh, SAE 30 plus, about 20 ounces. Motor, motor oil in here, nice and fresh. My friends over at Lucas Oil Products.
see, I have burned off all the excess oil that's in the muffler. Uh, now this thing has been shined up, bag is fixed, cable engagement for the drive is fixed, shined it up a bit. There was really nothing wrong with it, but just a little bit of TLC. People throw away stuff because it didn't work at the time. It's a super easy fix, you know. Thanks to Andy, my next door neighbor from England, who pointed out to me while walking his dog that there's one sitting on the curb. Boom, got it. This is an easy 150. Everything works, you know. Auto choke, front self-propelled, good wheels, high wheel, bagger, fantastic. Uh, I've got a lot of mowers now to sell and they're not buying them. Because of the pandemic last year, everybody bought what was on the market. And so, you know, you're not gonna have an influx of a whole bunch of people wanting mowers anymore. You know what I'm saying? At least not like last year where it was crazy, you know? I'm gonna take some pictures of this thing, maybe list it for 200 and maybe take as little as 150. Thanks a lot for joining me on this super easy fix. Practically one day uh, be between finding it on the street and getting it running. Super easy. Like scores like that, don't you? See you guys next time on Mowers and Blows. See you next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, Comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel by...